Civic Center TV salutes West Bloomfield area businesses with The Biz, where local entrepreneurs share their unique insight and knowledge on a wide variety of subjects. The Biz is produced with the support of the Greater West Bloomfield Chamber of Commerce. It's time now for The Biz. Hi, I'm Penny Rubin for Civic Center TV, and in this edition of The Biz, we're here at Remotion Pain Relief Center in Commerce Township, where they use laser therapy and thermal imaging as alternative treatments for pain. We're involved in laser pain therapy, which is a modality that's non-invasive, and it helps the patient heal naturally without drugs, surgery, or any side effects. Laser therapy can be used to treat a variety of conditions. We uh, utilize that for an augmentation to treating severe injuries of strains, tissue, deep tissue pain, uh, chronic back pain, ankle, tennis elbow, headaches, migraine headaches. Uh, it's just been a tremendous instrument in this um, donut hole of people that we don't have typical therapies for. Laser therapy, it, it's, uh, it's really a modality, if you will. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll explain it as if it looks kind of like an ultrasound piece of equipment where you have a wand, and, but, it, but it's totally different from ultrasound. And, and the wand, what it does is it emits light. The light travels through the skin to the cellular level, and that's where all the healing happens. Uh, the light actually seeks out cells that are inflamed, hurting, damaged, and it starts repairing those cells. It repairs the cells by increasing the blood flow. Uh, the laser light actually increases the production of a chemical called ATP, which is found naturally in the human body, and that chemical gets produced and it helps in the healing process as well. Why is it important to take a drug-free approach to pain management? Well, I think, you know, as we've heard in the news, uh, drug abuse has become an epidemic. And a, a pain drug is prescribed or, or you know, back when, when drugs first came out, pain drugs were used to get the patient through till a solution could be found. And now it's kind of shifted where the pain drug is actually deemed as a solution. And drugs aren't a solution. It's masking the pain. It's not healing the body. So where drugs have their, their time and place, they're not meant for a permanent solution. Using thermal imaging, the affected area is pinpointed and the source of the pain is determined. Thermal imaging is actually another non-invasive uh, procedure that we conduct, and it, it tells us exactly where the inflammation lies in the patient. So we can take a non-invasive picture of them, and it'll show us the heat maps of the body. Uh, sometimes you see this, like if you see uh, like uh, finding Bigfoot, for example, they'll use thermal imaging equipment or uh, going into buildings, you'll see this type of equipment used. Well, this is medical digital thermal imaging. So it, show, it scans the patient's body and it will show us where the inflammation lies. And that's very important because when we laser someone, it, we need to know where the inflammation is so that we know that we're treating the right area. Whether it is chronic or acute pain dictates the number of treatments needed. It's all really dependent on the severity of the injury. Some people handle pain a little bit differently than others. Um, the severity of the injury kind of dictates if you need one or two treatments. I've never really had to do more than about three or four treatments on any one particular type of uh, specific injury. There's some chronic pain back problems that people may have to come back maybe once a month or something for like you would with a, um, some other type of modality, but they're certainly able to use less narcotics. Thermal imaging and laser therapy provides a non-invasive drug-free alternative pain treatment for everything from neuropathy to tennis elbow and everything in between. For Civic Center TV, I'm Penny Rubin, and that's your biz. <laughs>